Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. My name is Chinmay and in this video, I'm going to tell you about a great free and open source tool called LiceCap. LiceCap is a super simple screen capture tool using which you can create animated GIFs within just a few seconds. Let's dive straight into it. The first thing that you want to do is to visit the LiceCap website. This is at cocos.com slash LiceCap. I have given the link in the description below. As you scroll down, you will see that LiceCap is available for Windows as well as Mac OS. And the installers are really very small, 250 KB for Windows and 876 KB for Mac OS. So just click on the version for your operating system. I'm using Windows, so just click on this. It takes just a few seconds for LiceCap to download. So once LiceCap has been downloaded on your computer, you can install it as you would normally do with any software. The installation is super fast and within just a few seconds, you'll have LiceCap ready to be used on your computer. So once you have LiceCap installed on your computer, just search for it and just click on the app to start it. So the idea of LiceCap is really very, very simple. It presents you with a small window through which you can see whatever is happening behind it. And anything that you can see through this window, you can record. You can alter the size of this window and move it wherever you want. You can also change the frames per second that will be recorded from here. So if you want something to be recorded at a higher frame rate, you can come and type in a value here. The default is eight. More the number of frames per second, better will be the quality, but bigger will be the size of the file that will be ultimately saved. So it's a very simple software. So whenever you want to record your screen, just go ahead and click on the record button. You will be asked to provide a file name and then you can record anything that's happening on your screen and then just simply go ahead and click on stop and the recording will be available to you as an animated GIF file. So let's quickly see some of the scenarios in which LiceCap can prove very handy. So the first use case scenario in which I find LiceCap to be really very useful is when I want to communicate to someone a sequence of steps that is required to use a software. So this has to be a short sequence. LiceCap does not record any audio. Let's say, for example, if I wanted to show someone very quickly the use of the Windows calculator. So I have the calculator open here and I also have a Word file. So to record this screen sequence, just start LiceCap and position the window wherever you want it to be. So I'm just going to shape this and increase it to cover the entire screen area that I wish to record. So everything inside this window will get recorded. No audio will be recorded. So once I'm all set, I can just click on the record button and I have to give a file name. In this case, let me just call this calculator. So there are a few options that you can activate here. By default, none of them is activated. So you can, for example, include a title frame here and provide some text and that title frame will be visible for about three seconds. You can also include an elapsed time counter. So as the GIF will be displayed on the screen, it will show you a small time counter at the bottom right of the animation. You can also make sure that the mouse button presses are recorded. So this can be useful if you are trying to communicate a series of sequence in using a software. And by clicking on this button, you can pause the recording by using Control Alt P, move the window to some other location if required, and then continue with the recording. This setting here is for the repeat count. By default, it is set to zero, which means that the GIF will loop infinitely. So it will keep showing once it has shown all the frames, it will come back and start from the first frame and keep looping infinitely. If you don't want it to do that, you can put in a number like one or two and it will repeat one or two times. And this checkbox here is a checkbox that I use very frequently. And this ensures that the size of the GIF file is reduced by a little bit. What you can also do is you can make the recording stop after a desired number of seconds if you wanted to. So if something is happening for a finite amount of time, you can just simply put in that amount of time and the recording will stop after that particular time limit automatically. 
So in this case, I have just simply gone ahead and clicked on this. So these are the settings that I normally use. If you don't want to use them, you can just uncheck all of these and just provide a name and then go ahead and click on save. So the moment you press save, the recording activity will start and you get a little countdown here. And now it is recording. It doesn't record any sound. So you can just come here and start recording your sequence. So I'm going to come here and just show my viewers all the options that are available in the calculator. And then just come here and click on this and then just type in an amount, right click, copy, and then come here and paste it. And then I can just come here and click on the stop button to stop the recording. So the moment I do this, my animated GIF is now recorded in the folder. And you can see this file appear here. This file is 1.25 MB in size. So you can click on this file and see how this plays out. So as you can see, the animation is now playing and it will show us the sequence of operations that need to be performed. And here you are seeing all the options in the calculator. And it's great to communicate to someone very quickly how you can perform a particular operation. The same can be used for demonstrating software options for any software. It has reached the end and starts playing all over again, and it will continue to do so in an infinite loop. So once you have recorded this animated GIF, you can insert it inside presentations, or you can put it on a website or on a blog post, or even insert it inside documents like Microsoft Word or Google Docs. So we can just come here and click on the file and insert it here. And it will start playing inside the document. So if you are writing a tutorial on how to use this particular software, the calculator. People who are reading this document can actually see the sequence of steps for a particular operation as an animated GIF. However, if you were to save this as a PDF file, this GIF will normally not work inside PDF files. So that is something that you have to be aware of. Let me quickly also show you some of the options that we had seen before. So let's say, for example, hypothetically speaking, if you wanted to show users how to delete or undelete text inside a Word document, we can just simply position our LiceCap window around the area that we will be working on in this particular case. And we can just come here and click on record. And let me just call this as delete. And I can insert a title frame independently, like mail this sequence of operations to somebody in an email. I can put in a title so I can just type how to undelete text and I can also include an elapsed time counter if I wanted to. This big font is checked but I found that this is not really very effective but nevertheless let's keep it checked. So what we are seeing here is that before you start actually showing what is being recorded put in a title slide and show it for three seconds. You can alter this time just go ahead and click on save. It starts recording three, two, one, and I can just click on the pause button here and insert another card while recording. So I will just click here and say select and hit delete. This is the duration for which this card will be shown. And this is the transparency. So defaults are quite good, but let's say, for example, if you wanted to show this card for a higher number of seconds, we can do that for three seconds and insert. So once we click on insert, we can close it and then we can unpause this. Then we will just make this selection and hit delete on the keyboard. We can pause this once again and then insert another card in between. Hit control plus Z to undelete. We can click on insert. We can add multiple cards which will show one after the other. All your deleted text will be restored. So I have added another card here. I'm going to click on insert once again. So I have inserted two cards here and click close. And then we can unpause it once again and the recording continues. So I'm going to come here and hit on control Z and my text reappears again. I can now stop the recording. So once I do this, this sequence that I just performed has been recorded. 
Let's see how this plays out and you will be able to understand the pause, unpause and title cards idea very clearly. So just click on this file to see how it plays. So this is the first title card, how to undelete, it shows for three seconds. And then you can see this little elapsed time counter appearing here in very small fonts. You now see the inserted card, select and hit delete. So we are going to perform that operation right here. And then we are going to see other inserted cards. It says hit Control Z to undelete. Then the next card, all your deleted text will be restored. And then we are going to go ahead and perform that particular operation. It has been recorded on the GIF file. And you will see that text being restored. And then we have stopped. Now, because we chose zero for infinite loop, it's going to come back again and keep playing the sequence infinitely. So this is how you can insert cards inside and annotate your GIF and make your GIF file completely standalone. The second use case scenario in which I find Liescap to be quite useful is when I want to show, say, for example, a Wikipedia page which is more than one screen full, or for that matter, a graph like this, which is very large in size. So if you just click on this and see, you will see that it goes beyond one screen. So I just don't want to compress it inside the presentation. I want it to be seen in its full size. So whenever you have such kind of a need, you can start Liescap, create a window that fits in the width of the screen that you are trying to show. So maybe something like this, and then just go ahead and click on the record button. So let me just call this graph, and I'm going to do away with all the previous selections. I don't need a mouse button press. If I want to pause it, I can press Control Alt P. So I let that remain and let this also remain. And then you can just go ahead and click on save. So when you're back in the window and after the drum roll finishes, you can say, for example, either manually scroll this down and record it or just click on the middle wheel of your mouse and then just slowly move your mouse downwards to initiate a very slow movement of this graph automatically. So this graph is now sliding through the window and people can see this in its original size. It may take a few takes for you to adjust the speed and the frame rate such that it's not jerky. And once it has reached the end, you can come here and click on stop. And we can now go and have a look at how this has been recorded. So you can see that this is the file. You can just go ahead and click on it. And you can see how this is scrolling through the window. So it might take a couple of tries to get this perfectly right. If it's a little jerky, you can make sure that it's sliding a little slowly. Or you can also increase the frame rate when you are recording. And once it reaches the end, it'll play infinitely again. You can insert this inside a presentation or include it inside a document. So this is the second use case in which I find Liescap to be really very useful. So you can use Liescap quite conveniently to scroll down and capture the entire document or the entire graph in its original size. The third use case that I find quite useful is recording small clips from videos that can really create great slides in presentations. Let's say, for example, we are about to give a presentation on the state of reverse and we want to record a few clips from this video. So we can start Liescap and position it exactly where we want it to be on the video. So after positioning my frame exactly where I want it to be, I can click on record, then give this a name, the river. And then this time around, I want to automatically stop it after five seconds. So I don't have to press the stop button. And I can then just come here and click on save. It is important that you start the video before the GIF recording actually starts. Otherwise, there may be a little lag when it tries to replay the GIF again and again. So this is going to stop automatically after five seconds. So the GIF has stopped recording after five seconds. Let's head back and have a look at what has been recorded. So as you can see here, the file river has been recorded. And you can see that even though we have recorded just five seconds of it, because the first frame was of the flowing river, as it keeps playing indefinitely, you will not see a break. And we have created an animated GIF from a video. 
Likewise, you can go ahead and record frames from any video. For example, if you are giving a lecture on climate change, you can record smoke coming out of chimneys. Or if you are giving a lecture on some management aspects, you can record an appropriate video frame and then use it inside presentations. So I'm going to show you some of these GIFs that I have created and inserted inside PowerPoint, as you can see. So you can see this. And this is the graph that we had saved. I've just pasted that GIF inside a PowerPoint slide. And as you can see, it's sliding down. And this is the flowing river animation that I had created. I have put it on a slide and I can create a really attractive slide to demonstrate or illustrate something inside my presentation. And once again, this is the smoke coming out of the chimneys. This is another GIF that I have created using another video. So just a few frames that keep repeating over and over again can give you a great presentation slide effect. And these are a few frames from another video. And this is an animation that I have recorded of a spinning globe using LiceCap and Google Earth. So this globe is seen spinning inside Google Earth and I've just positioned the LiceCap window on top of it. So you can make some great animations and really pep up your presentations with animated GIFs created using LiceCap. The fourth use case in which I find LiceCap very useful is again involving PowerPoint or LibreOffice Impress and record them as animated GIFs using LiceCap. In this particular case, I have created a small banner for an advertisement on website for a hypothetical course. So I've just created a simple animation in PowerPoint, as you can see here. So if I can just run this animation, you can see that this animation just simply appears. And I can use LiceCap to record this animation. So web banners are supposed to have a certain size, so you can adjust that size from here, or just simply adjust your window accordingly. And then you can go ahead and record this animation that you have created using LiceCap. In this animation, I have just drawn two lines, one from this particular place to this place, and then one from here to here, just showing how to reach my field station for research. And then I've just simply used a wipe animation, bottom to up, and for this case, a wipe animation from right to left. So you can see this animation and once again we can record such kind of animations on LiceCap and create animated GIFs. So you can see this and this is just simply moving up and showing you how we have traveled to the field station. So we can just simply capture this animation using LiceCap, just adjust the window and make sure that it's covering the entire screen, the portion that you want to record. and just click on the record button, provide a file name, and then replay this animation to record it. You can also do some fun stuff. So for example, in this animation, I have used an image of a small airplane and then happy birthday, and then animated it across the screen using motion animation in PowerPoint. And you can see this animation. So this plane is going to fly across and wish somebody happy birthday. This can of course be any message that you want. So what we can do is we can use LiceCap to record this animation. Just create a window through which the animation is going to pass. Give it a name, click on save, and then just simply come here and click and start the animation. The animation should pass through the window and get recorded. So as you can see, it's flying through the window and then it will exit the window on the other side, at which time I will just come here and click on stop. Now, sometimes you may find that some extra frames have been included inside a GIF. So I have done a separate video on this and using another software that is called a screen to GIF. I am giving a link to that video in the description below. And using that software, you can delete frames inside the recorded GIF. So this is the software. When you start it, you can open the editor and then just simply come here and drop that GIF. And you will see all the frames here. 
and you can see that the animation is actually starting from this particular frame so we can just choose all of these and then just simply press the delete button and then go ahead and save the gif so we can remove any number of frames using screen to gif i have created a separate video for this and you can go ahead and have a look at that video as well so using this you can actually really fine tune your animated gifs to remove any extra frames that might have come by way of recording so let's quickly see how these animations play out in a photo viewer i'm just going to click on the first one so this was the web banner that i created using powerpoint and it's in an infinite loop so it just keeps coming again and playing you would have seen such kind of banners on websites so very nicely created using very simple animation in powerpoint this is the second animation and i'm seeing all these gifs inside windows photos so you can see how it is showing the route to a field station and once again it is in an infinite loop so it will start all over again once it reaches the end we can use such kind of graphics on maps to show many other things and finally this is the fun animation that i did in which a plane is carrying a happy birthday banner and it is exiting from one side of the screen and coming back from the other side of the screen because it's replaying it again and again in an infinite loop so creating your own animations in presentation software like powerpoint or impress or google slides or keynote and recording them as animated gifs using lyscap opens up a whole world of possibilities that you can really use to create whatever you want and record them as animated gifs so i hope this video was useful and i hope that this video will help you get started on lyscap and use it on a daily basis to create short animated gifs and record areas of interest on your screen I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Many thanks for watching.